Have you ever considered playing Steam games on FIDOS? Such topics always generate a buzz in our tech community. You might have noticed that starting with version 16.1, FIDOS has officially introduced support for Steam, broadening the entertainment options available to our users. Enough preamble, let's dive into the live demonstration. For this showcase, we're using an AMD RX 6700 graphics card. Firstly, we're testing out the classic CSGO. The performance is impressively smooth. Keep an eye on the frame rate data at the top left corner, you'll find the frame rate consistently hovers around 150 frames per second. Next, we're showcasing one of my personal favorites, Dying Light. It runs remarkably well on FIDO S2. With maximum graphic settings, the game delivers visually stunning performance without any lag. Lastly, we put the classic Tomb Raider to the test, which also runs flawlessly on Fido S. The capability to run Steam on Fido S is thanks to a project codenamed Borealis. This is a virtual machine based on Arch Linux that, besides running native Linux games, uses the Proton layer to enable many AAA games from the Windows platform to run seamlessly. The Steam Deck also utilizes a similar approach. To achieve an optimal gaming experience running Steam through Borealis, aside from the AMD standalone graphics card scenario, we recommend using processors released in recent years, such as those equipped with Intel's Iris Xe integrated graphics and AMD Ryzen 3 or higher-level processors. You'll also need a minimum of 8GB memory. Now, let's walk you through how to install Steam on FIDOS. First, visit the FIDOS knowledge base document related to Steam, I'll provide the link in the video description. We'll follow the tutorial step by step. Follow the instructions in the tutorial to enable the Borealis flag in flags, then restart. Next, Press Ctrl Alt plus T to open the cross window. Enter shell and sudo su to gain administrator permissions. Then, copy the codes from the knowledge base document and paste them into the terminal. Once the download is complete, click on the navigation button in the bottom left corner, search for Steam, and follow the prompts to install. Remember that Borealis is still experimental, and you might encounter game crashes or games that won't run. We encourage you to test it on your devices and share your configuration details and game performance feedback in the comments section. That wraps up our video for today. Stay tuned for more updates. Take care.